it's so pretty. Hey girl. Hey. Oh my god, I'm really on time. Yeah, go. So I'm getting ready for a Sephora event today, which is super exciting because it's a pretty fancy event. I feel like it's gonna be really cool. I haven't been to anything like this before. So I'm just gonna start out with priming my face with a green primer. So that's gonna cancel out hopefully all of my redness, but I don't think there's much helping my skin at the moment, TBH. I don't find that interesting. That's mm. why I like, like vlogs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to do like vlogs and makeup tutorials in one. Yeah, that's so good. Because I feel like people really like, like, what are you doing your makeup for? Where are you going yeah. afterwards? Yeah, what are you wearing? Yeah. I'm putting some MAC strobe cream on underneath my foundation. So it'll give me a bit of glow. I'm in Sydney, by the way. I live in Melbourne, so I had to bring all of my makeup in this bag. Yes. You'd think as such a makeup lover, like I would have some kind of better transportation device or I don't know, like a proper yeah, makeup you would case. Yeah, like a full suitcase. Thing. Maybe someone will send you one. Whoa, that is way too dark. I'll mix some light foundation in with that. I feel like this is the foundation color I would have worn in like year nine when I just started wearing foundation and thought like if you have a tanned face, that means you're tanned all over. I'm just blending this in with a dry beauty blender. I always get pimples after I catch a flight all the time. I just got this giant one yesterday at the airport. It actually grew at the airport. Just a bit of contouring. And a bit of bronzing. I can't really call that a bit, can I? I'm so not a cat person. I'm so a dog person, but Cass and Michael have the cutest cats in the world. Teddy and Lily. I love this brush. It's the perfect brush to blend out contour because it's angled. So I feel like it really just pushes the product where you want to go. Like it really like finds the grooves in your cheekbones. And carve out that contour because sometimes it can get a bit messy and muddy looking on my cheek area. Got a lot of acne scarring there, so it does tend to look pretty gross. Now I'm just going to highlight my under eyes with this concealer. This one's the Maybelline Lumi Touch because I feel like this one's a lot like thinner so I don't crease with it. If I use anything too thick under my eyes, I crease straight away. And I'm just going to use a beauty blender to blend this in. Normally I'd use a damp one but I just can't be bothered getting up and wetting it. <laughs> By the way, Cass and Michael are my sister and brother-in-law. Well, not technically in-laws because I'm not married to my boyfriend. But when we are married, they'll be my in-laws and they live here so... It makes it really handy if I ever have anything in Sydney and I can just stay with them, which is awesome. Oh my god, I forgot. I thought I forgot my RCMA powder. I'm just going to pop this under my eyes. I don't really care to bake. I just more want this to set. It just smooths out everything. I'm going to put some powder on my pimple and the smile lines because I know I'll be smiling a lot today. And I'm just going to set the rest of my face lightly. I still want to be pretty glowy. This is just more so that any powders that I put on afterwards are going to go on nicely and not patchy. And I'm just going to bronze a little bit. And I'm also going to take this down my neck. I've got eczema at the moment, so that um, tan stuff that I use, the Loving Tan, it kind of sticks to the areas where I get eczema. -y. So this should just kind of like even it out a little bit, hopefully. Because I'm not using a big mirror, the mirror really only shows me my face. I'm really scared that I'm not the same color as my body. It's all fun and games here. Now, blush. I didn't bring much to choose from, so I'm just going to use what I've got. I just get really nervous going to these things because like everyone there is there for makeup and because they're like beauty gurus or just people in the industry. So I really want to look good. And if my skin's a bit shitty, it's really annoying because I just feel like everybody's looking at it. But I was just talking to Cass this morning and no one actually cares. So just got to get that out of my head. And to be honest, lately I've been getting so many random opportunities that I can't wait to tell you guys about. They're just like in the works 
for the moment. But so many opportunities because of my acne, which is really funny. Bit of champagne pop. And I'm going to highlight my collarbones as well. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing, but it's quite like low necked, like quite a deep V. So I don't want it to look like my makeup kind of just stops at my neck. That is my face done. So I'm just going to set that down. Hey, beautiful. Define the shape a little bit, fill in any gaps where I don't have much brow. Now I'm just going to use some tinted brow gel. This is my current fave. I don't know why I did my face first, because I'm planning on doing like some bronzy eyes, so hopefully it doesn't end up all over my face. Eye primer. And I'm just going to define the underline of my brow as well. So I want this look to be really appropriate for the daytime. I want to keep it like pretty neutral. What palettes did I even bring? Did I only bring one? Surely I wouldn't do that to myself. I'm Colourpop Dream Street and Jeffree Star Thirsty palette. I love the Jeffree Star Thirsty palette, but I find if I layer the colours too much, they kind of just blend away. Or maybe that's just the dark brown shade in here. I'm going to start with this because I want to wear pretty orange shades. I'm wearing a nice orange jumpsuit. So this one has some good shades in here for that. I'm just going to start in the crease. And then just keep doing like circular motions to buff it out. And I'm also just going to sweep that along my lower lash line. I didn't actually prime my lower lashes, but I think they'll be fine because I've got a lot of product on them already. And just using a clean blending brush, I'm just going to diffuse the edges. So that was the shade that I just used and now I'm going to go into stroke. And I'm just placing that directly in my crease just to deepen it up. Focusing the real like concentration of the shade on the outer third and flicking it out a little bit. My left eye is going to water, I can feel it. <laughs> just make sure those shades are all blended in together. And then I'm just going to focus this dark brown shade from, from the Dream Street palette, the bottom one, just on the outer third, just to deepen up what we've already done. And I'm just going to really define my lower lash line with that dark shade, just on the outer third again. And this is the best thing ever created, ever. Mecca Max, the Illuminati metallic shadow in Showbiz. And this, I'm just putting on the front two thirds of my lid and I'm kind of taking it above the crease as well because I really like that look. That's good enough. Now I've got half an hour. Should I do a winged liner or not? All right, this is not the brush that I would normally use, but I can't find my other one, so this will be okay. Okay, I just lined my lips quickly with the Mellow Rose lip liner and put my lashes on. Did you say Hungry Jacks? He loves Hungry Jacks. Hungry Jacks is so shit, Michael. Oh, what? What's good from Hungry Jacks? The burgers. Oh, a Whopper, a Whopper. Yeah, I had a Whopper the other I haven't had one in like years. I had one the other day. I was like, holy fuck, this is awesome. Yeah. Because like, when, you get a, when I get a Macca's burger, I eat it in like three bites. I'm like, oh. I think you're just not getting the right burger, to be honest. I love that lip. It's so pretty. It is, isn't it? I mean, thanks. I don't know if I say thanks to that or yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we're done here, actually. Thanks for your hospitality. See ya. <laughs> Let's set that down again. Want me to set your face down? What does that do? Luminous <laughs> dewy skin mist. Cool. On the way to a Sephora event, I might just take the guitar as a prop. <laughs> All right, so firstly, I'm wearing a watery eye and my lashes are coming off. And then I'm wearing this jumpsuit. I don't know where it's from, actually. Princess Polly. It's really nice. It's backless. I've got X now, so it's a bit too back there. But I'm wearing just my Adidas shoes because the pants were too short and you could see like the heels and I feel like that's ugly. Not wearing any jewelry because I forgot it. I left it at home in Melbourne. And Hi. this bag I think is from Boohoo but I'll double check and let you guys know. Okay that's good. When I knew that I'd become Wow, wow.
Oh, hey, Michi. And yeah, all the guys over here, there's no doubt. Just smudge this and everything. That's and amazing. Um, all of our iPads. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay guys, I'm home now. I'm all cleansed in my pajamas. <sighs> the weather is so disgusting here compared to Sydney. That's the first thing I'm going to say. The weather was so nice in Sydney. We get the grossest weather here in winter in Melbourne. Anyway, I've been feeling so overwhelmed since the event. I actually... Oh my god, like when I was at the airport about to catch the plane, I was just like... I don't know, I just felt like crying. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that like my passion is kind of slowly becoming my career which is really really cool today was just insane meeting all these brands and just being in sydney at all for sephora like it's just so crazy a sephora event like it's a whole like showcase of what's coming up it was just so crazy anyway i got to meet so many cool people um i finally met amia in real life amia is my agent she has her own um management company i'll link her insta and her youtube below because she's really great um so it was nice after like conversing with her so many times over emails and stuff to actually meet her in real life was awesome i met nikki mua i don't know what her actual last name is but she was so lovely everyone i've met has just been so beautiful i saw michelle cross on there and she's always been so nice to me and then yeah just meeting all of these um brand reps was really cool they're so nice they're so ready to help and answer all questions you have i think that's the biggest thing for me with this industry it's really nice compared to like my home salon because um when i'm working from home if i ever run into any issues or i'm struggling with a certain brand trying to find something that works you can't really just ask other freelancers hey i'm having trouble with this can you please help me no one's gonna want to help because you're all competing whereas like youtube and instagram everyone's like a community and it's really nice everyone's been so lovely and then this is what i took away oh my god it is a giant sephora bag full of so much stuff oh i was really surprised as well when, when i was there like there are so many skincare stalls and so many um makeup brands are starting to incorporate skincare into them as well and there were so many brands that i haven't heard of like this um marie dalgar i think that's how you say it holographic stuff was really in this brand pretty vulgar look at this palette whoa 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 there's so much stuff that i can't wait to try oh my god it's all just so unreal there's perfumes in here and i haven't had a perfume in so long because perfume's just one of those luxuries i just can't afford right now i feel like i put so much of my cash into my businesses and perfume is just not one of those things so that is so exciting i guess i owe a thanks to you guys because you guys i just see so many of the same people commenting on my videos today as i did when i started my channel i don't know how long ago i started it probably like two years but in two years i haven't even been consistent like even now i'm so inconsistent but i'm really trying to become consistent now because I see the opportunities that I'm getting and, I, and I'm not even consistent. So I was like, imagine what I could do if I actually gave it 100%, like gave it the time it deserves. So yeah, you guys are going to see a lot more from me, which is exciting for me. I don't know if you, it's exciting for you, hopefully. But yeah, I just want to say thank you for supporting me always and leaving me really nice comments and just, I have a really, really nice group of subscribers and followers on Insta. Like everyone's so supportive. I don't get any hate yet which is good i mean i know i'm still so small but i don't know i just hit 25k which was a really nice small milestone for me um so yeah i'm just saying thanks and i hope that you all continue to watch my videos and to enjoy my videos and leave me comments below on what you think and what you'd like to see etc so now i'm probably gonna sign off and time to relax Thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. Sorry for getting all, like, romantic and soppy on you. <laughs> I'm just feeling so overwhelmed and, like, emotional, which is so sad that makeup makes me feel this way. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. Mwah.